hello guys you are watching my channel go digit and today i am going to show you one new function which is introduced in the microsoft dynamics business central 365 business central so as you can see from the screen itself this is the rtc version of 365 business central although microsoft has already obsolete the rtc from the 365 business central but uh, i'm using the same because uh, right now i'm using windows 10 home edition and windows 10 home edition does not support the web client so that's why i'm using the rtc version so as you can see this is microsoft dynamics 365 business central so let's begin with the video itself uh, as you can see from the screen this is the customer list and uh, I have selected the customer 10,000 and if I go to the ledger of this customer and let me add one filter first is let me add document type as invoice and now we will check whether the invoices are open or not this will filter out the invoices which are yet not been paid by the customer so this is the list of the open invoices now we normally closes the invoices by making the payments to the payment general manually and then we manually click on apply entries and apply the said invoices suggested by the customer so this is all done manually till Navision 2018 but from the new version of Navision which we now call, call it as Dynamics 365 Business Central Microsoft introduced a new function called register customer payment if you look at the brief of this register customer payment you will find that this function will do or process your customer payments by matching the amounts received on your bank account with the related unpaid sales sales invoice and then post the payment later okay so what you need to do is that just select your customer and click on this register customer payments as i click on this register customer payment this will show me show up the list of open invoices which are not being paid by the customer with the remaining amount of those invoices and the due date okay now i think the first four columns are self-explanatory like the name of the customer the description of those entries the due date of the unpaid invoices and the remaining amount of the unpaid invoices now let me explain the next four columns what is this payment made well this is the boolean or the check field if i use this let me show you I click on this and see what the system does system clears the complete remaining amount and copy the same amount in the amount received okay and the date received automatically filled by the today's date although please don't look at the vague this is showing the vague date because I am using the Kronos sample database and by default the Microsoft comes up with this date so don't uh, confuse with this date but the idea behind this check is that system automatically clears the remaining amount and copy the same remaining amount in the amount received field this means that the customer is paying the complete remaining amount of this invoice but because as we can see this field is also editable there are at times when customer pay the partial amount against the invoice for example if I select this invoice 
and it is currently showing 98687 as the remaining amount and the customer paid only 10,000 for this invoice so what I will do is I'll click on 10,000 and see system automatically calculate the remaining amount after amount received amount okay so in this manner these four columns will be used and now let's say I will pay let's say the customer paid me for these two invoices only and for first invoice customer paid the complete amount and for the second invoice customer paid only 10,000 okay so now I have uh, already created or tell the system that how much payment I want to post against these two invoices of the customer so there are two functions available in the ribbon itself first is called post payment and second is called post as lump payment so what exactly the difference between these two function is I'll show you that you can click on the post payment function first if I click on the post payment function the message comes do you want to post the two payments why it is showing the two payments because I have selected only two invoices let's say if I click on the third invoice also then it will show me as do you want to post the three payments right this means that it will post three payments in the customer ledger there will be three entries posted in the customer ledger but if I click on the post as lump payment this will create one payment only of the amount clubbing the three amounts of the amount received column okay so it totally or solely depends on you whether you want to create only one entry as a payment in the customer ledger or you want to post the separate payments for each invoice okay I want to create only one payment and so I will choose this post as lump payment function but what exactly this function does when I click on yes system will post one payment entry in the ledger and also applied these three invoices automatically with the one payment entry okay so let me click on this yes and see system deleted the invoice invoices entries which ever appeared here in this page and now if I go to the customer ledger part see on the top itself it is showing our entry as document type payment document number as this and amount was this original amount and remaining amount is zero now if I click on the applied entries we will find our three invoices here as this one because we applied fully for this invoice but for this it is not completely filled and this also completely consume the amount from the payment so in this manner we can see here that we applied system automatically applied the three invoices against this payment okay so that's all which this function does that system actually automatically do the complete payment and the application of the invoices with the payment so in this manner this function is very handy and I believe we all should use this function or convey this functionality to, functionality to our customers and I think it's a great function so we all should use this so I hope you like this video and if you like this video please please subscribe to my channel please like and share this video as much as you can thank you so much for watching this video